God derives his power from honor. And what is honor? The highest form of honor is to worship. The highest form of worship is to emulate, to become like. So Christ became one with God by learning to grow in righteousness, to become holy like unto God. So we're going to dive into this idea here, what it means to emulate Christ, but a couple more definitions. So those were the Hebrew translations of the word adore. And then the first definition of adore in the book is to worship with profound reverence, to address with exalted thoughts. Love that. To pay divine honors, to honor as a God or as divine. Number two, to love in the highest degree, to regard with the utmost esteem, affection, and respect as the people adore their prince. It's a quote apparently from a guy named Tatler. So this is adore. That's what adore is. So let's look at what adoration means, which is what Elder Maxwell said. Emulation becomes the highest form of adoration. In adoration, it is explained the act of paying honors to the divine being, the worship paid to God. So we're going to dive into that. What does it mean to honor God as a divine being and to pay him to worship him? This is the heart of the title of this episode. That is the highest form of worship is to emulate Christ. So we'll dive into this here in the Doctrine and Covenants section 36 on the screen share here. It says, And it came to pass that Adam being tempted of the devil, for behold, the devil was before Adam, for he rebelled against me, that is God, saying, give me thine what? What is it the adversary sought? He sought the power of God. And what is that power? Is the interesting thing here. So continuing with this word, give me thine honor, said the adversary, which is my power, said God. And also a third part of the host of heaven turned he away from he because of their agency. So the point I'm trying to extract from this here is that God derives his power from honor. And what is honor? The highest form of honor is to worship. The highest form of worship is to emulate, to become like. So Christ became one with God by learning to grow in righteousness, to become holy like unto God. God, and we learn in the Pearl of Great Price, is a man of holiness. So Christ became one with God by becoming holy. It's so simple. But he didn't do that of his own. Like he had help. Just like you and I have access to the Holy Spirit, which helps us raise our thinking to God's ways of thinking and raise our thoughts to God's ways and thoughts and his ways. We need Jesus Christ to fill in the gap because we have made mistakes. That doesn't mean we can't become one with God. What it means is we need a mediator. We need someone to step in and fill in the gap where we have made mistakes. And these are the kind of questions I referenced in the first episode is that we need to ask, how is this perfection idea possible? It's not possible because I messed up. No. How is it possible? And through Jesus Christ, it becomes possible. So thus we can turn to the idea and notion of emulating him and adoring him and having adoration for him to honor him by becoming like him, by learning what his will is and living it.